hey guys thank you so much for joining me yet again welcome to my video so it is break time right now my daughters are talking somewhere or fighting or crying just know i'm a good mom guys i i, I assure you i'm a great mom but right now it's the holiday season and hang on so yeah my kids are home they have a kind of a short break from school so if you hear anybody crying someone just fell down or they're shouting or they're fighting pulling each other there trust me i let them do it let them be them because that's how they learn i'm a great mom i assure you a happy mom and my kids are so happy right now they're quiet okay guys today i'm bringing to you a most highly requested video so many of you have asked me to do a how do you walk in heels sonu video can you please tell us give us some tips i can't wear a five inch i can't wear a two inch how the hell do you do it today you shall find out so hopefully these tips and tricks may help some of you beginners i believe there is a beginner level uh, intermediate and then a professional a pro level so whichever level you're at i'm sure all these tips will help you and i have some shoes here some really nice shoes for demonstration purposes in different sizes heights and styles uh, and yeah let's just begin so i know many of you keep telling me and you message me on my comments here on youtube on instagram on direct messages on my facebook and you guys follow me on there so if you don't make sure to follow it'll be in the description box below all the handles to my social media pages and platforms but yes i get lots of questions from you guys and some of you say i'm too old to wear heels what kind and type of heel would suit me sono but the truth is every type of shoe i believe suits everybody it just depends on your own personal style so to begin with the beginner level right now i would say if you have never worn a pair of heels never which i highly doubt who has never worn a pair of shoe that is highly elevated if you have not i want to know your name right now tell me i'm giving you a virtual shoe hug if you have never attempted a shoe with a heel your first option would be to attempt any type of wedges these are for you they're called wedges now this i got in india from aldo a pair i really love and as you can see they have these gorgeous wedges so wedges would be the beginning to your journey to end up for the pro stiletto heel while they are very very comfortable they also give you great height so a beginner heel would be wedges and i cannot stress it enough even for comfort i personally wear lots of wedges when i know i have to go running around a lot to schools and stuff because my children's schools sometimes they have like uphill downhill there's grass oh and that reminds me i will give you another tip on how to walk on grass so yeah i would say go with wedges if you have never done heels or you're afraid of the stiletto and you think it's too too tiny for you and you're just going to lose your balance these not only give you the perfect balance they give you height they give you style if you are confused about sono well, how would i wear these wedges and with what with everything everything a dress like i'm wearing jeans would be super cute shorts for summer dresses a black dress a long dress maxi dress literally wedges you can just pair with anything and that's the beauty about wedges they just blend in with any outfit completely and different colors different wedge heights you also get smaller ones you get like the espadrille shoes these days with wedges so you know you have a great great uh, variety and a choice so don't shy away i believe every fashionista has to kind of you know elevate their level from all these shoes and then come to these and literally just strut 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 obviously i did not get that memo you guys know i missed that memo like a thousand times because i just have so many of these shoes but yeah, that's that's allowed i'm sure it's allowed next up guys very quickly if you have now gone through part 1 of the wedge and you want to go to step 2 to elevate your shoe game then come to the club of the block heel now these are back on trend thank god and you see even easier for you guys because you can attempt these and you're still walking in high fashion high style these are back these are from nine west my this is a present from my sister i wore them the other day actually they were very comfortable so if you're done with the wedge the next step would be to go for such a heel because it's so chunky it's very sturdy you will be right at balance with such a kind of shoe and because this kind of shoes 
my kids are talking no problem because most of these shoes have a kind of a strap going through the toe it also gives you support so you don't feel like it's from the wedge you're straight going into a pump where you don't feel like you have any support with the ties around here the ties around uh, the front you can walk in these and you will feel supported so I think the next one would be to try the block heel okay so after you master the block heel let's talk heights of heels heels typically come in kitten heel the one and a half inch two inch three inch four inch five inch I have the highest shoes that I wear are at 150 mm which is a five and a half I think a five and a half inch shoe and I love them I mean this is a 150 mm heel height and I can walk very comfortably in these you get them in 100 mm 120 mm I think they even do an 80 mm I know not everybody can just go from wearing a two inch heel to six inches right it needs practice it needs a lot of practice you'd have to check with your backbone <laughs> But again, consider the height. Don't be in a hurry that, oh my God, I mastered the wedge, I mastered the block. Now I'm going straight for 150 millimeters. You don't want that fall. And trust me, there's nothing more embarrassing. You guys, have you come across Instagram, those funny memes where the girls are walking and then they're like, shh, like your foot goes like, it just goes like it was, it had epilepsy. Oh, oh my God, it's... <laughs> This is some real craziness right here. <laughs> Why is Jason laughing? <laughs> you know what? I'm about to get a ticket over here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I've fallen down. I'm going to admit here, but I fell honorably. Do you know, like, how to fall gracefully? I fall gracefully. Like, I've hit the pavement outside a gypsy. If you're a Kenyan, you know, around 3 a.m. Just go, you know, go slowly. Just don't be too overconfident also and say, oh my God, I'm definitely going to wear this five inch heels for this guy and then you fall. Just take it easy. So because of that, why don't you start with something like this? These are my Manolo Blonics, which I love. I was wearing them when I was heavy, heavily pregnant. So you can see the heel height is not so bad. This looks like two inches, not bad at all. Actually three, given the, this. Christian, where are you? I need you. These. And then the actual stiletto is only about two inches, given this, three inches. So this is perfect to wear to go from a platform. And before I forget, the platform, this is the high platform. You don't have to wear this higher platform. They even come like half the size. So please, I just don't have that low of one. I would also like to share with you now such shoes, the Socates. You guys know my love-hate relationship, but I'm still obsessed. Two transition from that 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 to this stiletto heel it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of practice one way to begin practicing after you're done with that uh, is once you wear the heel there is a way to walk now many people don't get to this they just like to put on the heel and then they walk and then they're like oh my god the pain oh my god i cannot stand it oh my god i fell down why because you're probably doing it wrong if you're a runner out there how do you run you know, I didn't know. I used to run so, just I was running like blindly until I was told you run badly. There are ways to run. So there are ways to wear a shoe, a heel. You always have to remember heel to toe. Like, you know, you just don't put your full weight on the shoe and then just take steps right on. Putting your foot completely flat, each step you take, you literally have to walk heel to toe heel to toe and the more you practice that you will see how easy it will become walking in heels these rules change slightly if you're walking in the grass i know it's difficult it's not the best place to walk in heels but the rule changes when you walk on grass you put most of your weight on the toe so that you go toe to heel otherwise you will end up with this whole heel in the grass and you will completely ruin your shoes so remember when you're in the grass 
put most of your weight, to distribute most of it on the toe. The moment you go heel to toe on the grass, this baby right here will be buried deep inside and it may never grow again like a carrot from that damage. Never again, but they will be ruined for life. So toe to heel or almost tippy toe on the grass. Another tip I would say if you're a beginner and you're trying to wear heels, I know you might feel like, oh my God, I have no support. There's no belt, there's no ankle strap. What am I gonna do? Do what I do. I use these nice cushy pads, not because I have a sizing issue, but because they're comfy and they make my feet, the ball of my foot not hurt so much if I'm standing for so long. You get so many of these at Bata right here, at, I don't know if Woolworths do any, but m and do some great ones, Aldo do some great ones, or shoe shops nowadays should be able to give you these, or even online on eBay or Amazon. And uh, next, I was going to say, how do you walk on the stairs now? The best way to walk on the stairs with high heel shoes, say for example if you're wearing these, I would always look towards the side of the staircase that has a rail. It's the easiest option. So you hold on to the rail and if you walk down the stairs, always again heel to toe, heel to toe. Be careful, don't try to exaggerate your steps too much because you are not that model on the runway. Models exaggerate their struts. You don't have to do that. You can be late for the office and wear this, but still get to the office on time. How will you do that? Because you will be doing the same thing, heel to toe, strutting with smaller steps. So you will be taking smaller steps, but your walk will be much faster. Now the same rule, unfortunately, does not apply when you're coming up the stairs. When you're coming up the stairs, again, I would say, put pressure on uh, your whole foot on the entire shoe. Otherwise, you will end up with one step here and you'll fall down. So there is a monkey outside hey I yeah there was he's just gone okay so yes make sure when you're coming up a staircase put your weight on the shoe equally so that you step flat those are some of the tips on how to walk in heels I think the best advice I can give you is that always see how you know you distribute your weight I know I have one issue I know everybody knows this my whole team is aware my left foot kind of uh, puts more weight always on my left shoe so I'm always even if you see my poses I'm always left foot first because my left foot is stronger I feel like I distribute my weight more on my left foot than the right so I just think it's a matter of practice at home in the grass, on the floor, yeah, bricks, the roadside, so many different surfaces to walk on. So practice really makes perfect. And I think guys, to round it off, I think fitness. Now you may not think this, you know, kind of goes with the video, but it really, really helps. If you are physically active, you do your squats, you're running up that machine, the staircase one in the gym, the one I use, this will help. It'll help your walk, it will help you and walking in your heels because that is going to help your calves, your leg muscles, um, your ankle and everything else. You do not want to break your ankle and then go to the gym and then attempt to wear heels again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it for you and just sharing a few tips and tricks to walk in heels. I know I got so many requests and I don't know why I didn't do sooner. But anyway, it is here now. Let me know if you guys have any tips that I probably missed or do not know on how to walk in heels. I'd love to know from you fellow shoe queens out there. And uh, I really hope some of these tips, and they're not rocket science, help some of you to start wearing your heels and feeling sexy and strut and feeling confident on your next date out. And yeah, if you do, come back and tell me how it went. You must. Anyway, guys, until I see you in the next one, lots of love and light.